Hi once again to you all. Um, I've had a request. Uh, Neon Young has asked me if I could put a little video up of this uh, socks lamp and the light fitting that it came in. So here goes. Sorry I didn't put it up yesterday. The day I, I was just so busy with things I didn't get a chance to do it. So my apology. Um, so this is for Danone Young and all you others who are interested in these. So um, here goes. I know I mentioned it on uh, the other website, uh, the Instagram, which I'm learning how to use. Slowly learning, but getting there. Anyhow, end of me shouting and uh, talking and gabbling on. This is the actual unit. Now, this unit is not mine. It uh, belongs to my mate who will be receiving it when I go across to France with it. Um, and I thought, well, I'll take a chance now to mention it on YouTube. And also the actual lamp, which is a socks type lamp. Let's take a close look at the lamp. Now I know uh, Neon Jung, to Neon Jung, uh, was asking about one of these tubes. Um, in England, we can normally pick them up for 20, 30 quid. I think the price in Germany might be a little bit dearer. But anyhow, they, they are obtainable. I haven't got one. The, uh, the collection doesn't own one of these. Uh, so this tube is definitely not mine. But I'm using it to give this little video. Um, you can see it's got a um, you know, close-up of the actual ends. It's had a bit of use. You can see the electrodes are a bit darkened. But I'll show you it a light. It does in fact work. Uh, this is um, low pressure sodium or natrium damp if uh, you're in Germany. Um, and um, yeah, this has had some slight bit of wear. Look, it's darkened down a bit there. They're quite economical to use, I believe. Uh, they give out a lot of light for a lot less juice. As I say, I'm not too used to these because it hasn't got a filament. My little joke. Um, as I say, I can show you the etch on it. There's the etch. You can see that. It's made by Osram and it was actually manufactured in England. I don't know if there's a code on there. There may be. It's 35 watts. Socks, that is a type PLL3, and there's also a number at the bottom N358. There's also another little number up there, looks like a B1. It's got Arat. No, it doesn't. It says made in Britain or made Britain. Anyhow, shows you my eyes are not that good. You've also got a bit of writing on the base. Socks, P L U S, whatever that means. And there's a date on there that someone has written on. I hadn't noticed that before. As I say, this is the lamp we picked up off off of eBay. Ebay is a good source of uh, various things. And this is dated 9th the 10th 14. So it's a few years old. What I'll also point out, the base, which is a bayonet cap. Don't ask me what the number is. To me it's a bayonet cap and it's a standard bayonet cap with the two pegs or pins sticking outwards. Sometimes these tubes used to have a a three pinned bayonet but this one don't so it goes into a normal bayonet holder the unit we're looking at and I can tell you what it's called because there's a little label on there just as well can I show you that 
there's the label M MI26 that was made in UK it also tells you uh, the SOX type and that it's got SOX 26 watt and 35 watt so presumably they made two tubes in different wattages I don't know I'm not too familiar with these but I just know that this is is a low pressure job and um, they're well made you can see the hold that up to the light I can't see any well there's obviously silvering there's silvering at the base there so somewhere along, somewhere along the line would be a getter a device for removing all the last traces of air and oxygen and they fire these from outside the lamp with a high frequency device the, the actual the lamps made the getter arrangement is inside and they hold near this tube the high frequency device and it fires the getter and that is why shows blue also on radio valves and one way to know if air has got in since is it the nice silvering turns to a horrible grey white powdery stuff that's that's when air has got in the valve said said to be soft then if someone says the valve's soft they mean that um, air's got into it anyway there's the actual fixing on the rear which I won't pick up and show you is one of these uh, a daylight nighttime detectors so when it gets dark it switches on but that's nothing just probably just see it there I don't want to move too to, much but I've got to get range to show you it a light I can put this in now excuse me why I change hands I should really use a tripod but um, I don't now I'll put it in such a way as you can you can see the name it's just into a normal bayonet holder I'm going to put this down while I fit it in right we got the we got the lamp in good strong clip round there which you should always use and by the way I think these lamps are supposed to be run horizontal if I'm wrong someone will correct me on that one um, Alec if I t told anything wrong can you correct it for me I rely on you because you tend to know these lamps much better than I do as I said before, I I tend to to uh, prefer lamps that have got filament in inside them. But having said that, I've still got some discharge lamps. Anyhow, let's uh, let's turn it on. Get it wired up. Yeah, it's on on there. I've stuck two wires into a a normal power lead. Come out of a little charger. Let's have a go. There are juices on. You can see it flickering at the, uh, the cathodes or the heaters at the end of the tube. You've got your stream of electrons flowing through obviously the, uh, the sodium. You can see traces of, of sodium on the glass itself. You can see it there then. They look very much like mercury, but as someone corrected me many years ago, it's not mercury, it's sodium. So, yep, yeah, they're right. I'll show you it warming up. it take about five minutes or so. might be a little bit shorter. Let's turn the light off here so you get full effect to the lamp. And needless to say, they will glow with a yellowy effect. Sodium lamps have that characteristic they light with the yellow the electrodes are still doing their stuff so if it cuts off it's me holding the cameras they're both the same brilliance 
and you've got a lovely electron flow they make these also in larger versions and smaller versions don't ask me what the maximum size is or the minimum size I just know that this is a common size they use for street lighting of course now street lighting has been changed to dare I mention it LED we've got LED lights here where I live and um, they've certainly taken over mind you the just general interest parts of Banstead now I went to that area last night we had a cactus meeting that's that's my other hobby well one of my other hobbies and um, there I dread driving there it's so dark the lighting is fluorescent lighting can you believe it the street lights fluorescent I remember those years ago fluorescent lights being used on like main roads these roads are which I call side roads or um, rudely cattle tracks because that, that's what they remind me of um, but then I say they are definitely fluorescent now you can see what is happening we're slowly moving up the tube it's getting brighter and brighter at the electrode ends it's brightened but you've still got the rest of the tube and I'll leave it on so you see it come all the way through now any comments on this as I say I might not know the answer but um, I dare, I'm hoping um, Alex will have, have a look at this and if there is, is any queries direct them to him because he will know I know some of it. Now see what's happening. See what's happening to the tube. It's slowly but surely lighting up a bit brighter. It takes a time. But as I say, these lights are quite efficient. You get a lot of light for your money. This is why they were very popular. And um, being that this colour, it did mean that if you were viewing things that were coloured this did alter it a bit so that was probably why they did lose a bit of favour but then I would say if you collect anything this one is worth collecting because they're going to become rare I don't care what anyone says they are going to become rare more and more LED and there'll be less and less of these and my mate saw this on eBay he said to me oh can you get that for for me and I said yeah okay he's going to put it in his room I believe so he's he doing the right thing preserving interesting items he's all associated with lamp collecting and he's got a good idea actually he'll clean it up By the time he's finished with it it'll look brand new I know that for a fact now look we've actually I would say at full brilliance the tube is the same brilliance all the way down and if that date on the tube was when it was installed it's doing very well because believe me there's many many years still well I say many years hours I should say perhaps left in this lamp so anyhow I'll turn it off and um, you'll see it die down I'll pull the plug that's the easiest way of doing that you don't see it die you don't see it dying down but there you notice uh, uh, some sodium there which looks like mercury but, it, but it's not mercury I was I was told many years ago anyhow that's the lamp I'll show you I can take the wires out don't look what I'm doing now it's very dangerous um, taken those out let me show you at the back what we've got we've got the normal characteristic uh, sensor and this probably works on either a 
Yeah, it's probably that large sensor there. They used to use what is known as an ORP12, I believe it was. It was a device, I think, made of selenium. I'm not too sure. Um, photo transistors could be used. But there's the actual unit, and that just plugs in to the lamp. And that would only come on when it becomes dark. There are some arrangements where they are switched by radio waves. I know it sounds ridiculous, but on certain motorways which are lit, not all of our motorways are lit, but some of them are, and it is arranged that they can be controlled by, I think it's a radio signal, it's either it's pushed through the uh, the power that goes to the switch or not, I'm not too sure, but I know they can be remotely switched on and that is done by the same type, well, I say same type, it's not that switch but it looks like that, but it has that ex extra facility. And as you see, it's uh, the case is quite dirty, but I was told it's made of fiberglass. Um, I told Ali it had arrived and he, he said, oh, it's made of fiberglass. I said, is it? I said, I thought it was plastic. Well, he's probably right. He seems to know quite a lot about things. So if it is, if it is fiberglass or plastic, a little wash with fairy liquid or something like that, don't use abrasives on it and you'll be able to bring it up like new. It's worth keeping. The glass front is also in perfect condition and that can be cleaned as well but as I say gently don't use abrasives. Abrasives will only scratch and look awful. Anyhow that's all, all, all I've got to say on here so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, Neon Young, as I say I don't know your real name but uh, that, that's what you're known as I suppose like me known as Miguel um, so anyway I hope you enjoyed any comments please make um, and um, yeah I'll thank you all for watching don't know what I'm going to put up next I've got to do a bit of work in here I'm still sorting out lamps it's, it's like it's, it's a bit like a madhouse here got bulbs everywhere anyhow once again thank you thanks for watching and i'm going to upload this onto youtube thank you